It's going to be one of the determining factors in making online poker illegal. Is there a way to keep kids off the sites? Gaming Control Board Chairman Mark Liparelli tells us he is confident they can keep teens offline just as well as they keep teens out of casinos. The concept may sound futuristic, but the technology to do it is already here. Some companies are pushing their facial and fingerprint recognition as the answer. We sent News 3's Sergio Avila out to test the technology. Nevada is well on its way to legalizing online poker within the state. Gambling within Nevada's borders is something the Silver State can accomplish without federal legislation. The major concern is how to keep underage teens from logging on. Carol O'Hare is the director of the Nevada Council on Problem Gambling. That has to be given the highest priority because any, any you know, um, um, weakness for that to be compromised and for um, young people to get online, not only is going to be detrimental to them, but it's, it's really going to be devastating to the, the concept of this being a legitimate um, legal activity. Gaming Control Board Chairman Mark Liparelli says they've been meticulous in drafting the regulations for the past 14 months. Gaming regulators will ultimately launch poker into cyberspace. Liparelli says the casinos will have to convince them their sites are secure. Well, the higher the level of assurance we get, Yet, the more likely it is that we'll be satisfied. So for those entities that want to use um, more secure methods, um, we will obviously be interested in, in hearing from them. At Bally Technologies, they've been working on creating mobile games to give you the same feel as a brick and mortar casino. Michael Daly showed us their marketing of online games are designed to bring you from online to in the casinos. I can see which casinos have the game. If online gambling becomes legal, they're committed to making sure kids stay away. The bottom line is if underage players are using their games, that's bad for a multi-million dollar business. It's an entertainment, but it's an entertainment for the right audience, and that audience is an adult audience. The identification process will probably go much further than usernames and passwords. Expect the technology to be complex, possibly futuristic. Card Logics in California is pitching biometrics as a solution. It's called a smart card, and it stores an image of your face and your fingerprint. The idea is to keep children or anyone else who is not you from using your account. Sergio, correct? The process is basically like signing up for a casino's players club card with a twist. Now take your right index finger. Do the same thing. Looks like a good capture. Your fingerprint or face are captured. I signed up for Card Logics's faux casino, a demo of what a program might look like. For security, Card Logics is recommending that information only be stored on your players card and not a casino. Card Logics already makes smart cards for casinos all over the world. They're used to unlock hotel doors, give employees access, and for cashless wagering. President and CEO Bruce Ross says using them for online gaming is their next big project. The technology is here, and it's now how do we apply it in an intelligent way that both protects your privacy as well as uh, makes it a, an easier playing experience for the gamer. So how well does the system work? Ross tried using my card to sign on. His fingerprints were denied. He also tried face recognition, and the system wouldn't sign on until I sat down for an instant pass. Just because you have a biometric solution doesn't necessarily mean that solves the problem. Although he's confident Liparelli knows the online poker systems won't be perfect, just like the brick and mortar casinos aren't 100%. O'Hare says the responsibility will be on the shoulders of parents. That's probably the weakest point that we would see for the potential for access. There's nothing you can do from technology to prevent a parent from allowing their child to sit down with that computer and, and play um, in that session. Ross says their systems can be programmed to ask for a rescan after the initial scan to hopefully eliminate players signing on and trading places. They feel their technology will also help the operators. It's also a, a approach that assures that the casino doesn't get chargebacks from people saying that wasn't me gaming. The future of gaming is around the corner. Companies are waiting for legalization. In Nevada, we could have licensed online poker sites by the summer. The entire country and other states will be focused on how Nevada identifies who's on the other side of the mouse. Sergio Avila, News 3.